Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. So we have a new week-long event called the Cryptid Hunt. Let's take a look at that. So as a daily for today, we have Cryptid Hunt. Kill a Grafton monster with a cold shoulder. One. And as a reward, you'll get three lunch boxes. Now this ties into the weekly. Complete five of the seven Cryptid Hunt Week 1 daily challenges. Five. And as a reward, you'll get a cold-blooded paint for a weapon. Looks like. Looks like a pistol, but I hope it's for all weapons. But we'll see what happens. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at the daily for today. Kill a graft a monster with a cold shoulder. And in case you're just tuning in, the cold shoulder is a reward off the Season 12 scoreboard. It's a double barrel shotgun. It's at rank 4 right up here, and it's for everyone. You have to be able to craft it at your weapons workbench. That's pretty cool to have. I made several videos on using this uh, weapon, and it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead. We're going to get our cold shoulder here from my stash box. Right there. And of course, it takes shotgun shells. Most important part. You're going to need uh, ammo for this thing. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look, uh, look at it real quick here. If I can find my uh, weapons workbench. There we go. <laughs> so this cold shoulder. Plus 50% damage to cryptids. Target freezes, causing reduced movement speed for 4 seconds. Adds cryo damage. Quadruple ammo capacity. Alright. Now this being a double barrel shotgun. Basically, if you scrap any old double barrel shotguns in the wasteland. You have a chance to learn the mods. And you can put those mods on this cold shoulder. And you can make this cold shoulder the best that it could be. Alright. So we're going to go to, uh, it's pretty cramped in this uh, camp here. <laughs> if I could find the uh, special, there we go. We're going to switch to a shotgun build. All right. And as we see here, it's going to do 213 damage, 120 cryo damage, 36 fire rate, 54 range, 36 accuracy, 10.32 weight. All right. Let's exit out. All right, so make sure we're going to put it on our person here so we don't forget. There we go. And now we're going to go find a Grafton monster, and we're fairly close to one. It'll be one right down here at the Somerville Dam. So let's go down there. Might have to take care of a couple scorched. And we'll uh, flip over to the. Uh, to this guy. I'm not going to do as near as much damage just because I'm on the. Uh... No, that's not too bad, I guess. Because I'm on the uh, shotgun build. But uh, these guys are fairly low level anyway. If I can get them. Come on, baby. <laughs> get them. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. All right. So switch this over to the cold shoulder, and uh, hopefully our buddy, the Grafton Monster, will be uh, popping his head up here out of the uh, whatever this uh, goo is. And of course, it being a double barrel shotgun, we got to get as close as we can. I recommend aim for the uh, blowholes, just because it's uh There we go, just like that. Kill a Grafton monster with a cold shoulder. And once again, we are just uh, just bonding down here by the Somerville Dam. Just a tiny bit to the west. You guys, most of you will know what I'm talking about. Um, now, if you're on the same server, if you don't know this, uh, the Grafton monster here has a 30-minute cooldown. So if you come here, you kill it, stay on the same server, roughly around 30 minutes or so, this Grafton monster w should be back. Unless they changed it in a patch, but I do check on this once in a while and it still works. The same as the Grafton monster that spawns over here by the uh, Charleston train yard. Same kind of deal with that guy. So there you go. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a nice day.